In today's video, I'm gonna show you the easiest method to restore a beat up wood stove like this and make it look like new. It's super easy to do. I'm not gonna use any spray paint and the entire job cost under $25. And this isn't just any typical wood stove. This is a really small model that's gonna be perfect to install in my shed. And small stoves like this can be really difficult to find in the US. But after a few months, I eventually found this one. It was a great price, but as you can see, the outside condition was looking pretty bad. It's rusted out and it's definitely lost that typical black finish that you want. You wanna make sure you're working safe. So grab yourself some rubber gloves, some type of a dust mask or a respirator, and then you need something to remove the rust off the stove. Now one option is to use one of these brass bristle brushes, and you can use these along with your power drill, but if you don't have a ton of rust like mine, you could just use one of these Scotch-Brite pads. And this one came along with this handle, and this is gonna make doing this job a lot easier. And even if your stove has a ton of rust, you can still get by with using one of these pads alone. You might just have to do it a few more times, or just take a little bit longer. Now because this stove is so small, I'm able to do this work outside, but if your stove is installed in your house and you wanna restore it, you can still do the exact same thing. Just hold the hose of the vacuum cleaner near the pad while you're working, and all that dust should get sucked into the machine, but you wanna make sure it's some type of a shop vac, or that it at least has a HEPA filter. You might wonder why I'm not using sandpaper, and in my experience, I've just found that it digs in too deeply, and it's a little bit more difficult to control. These pads are soft, so when you press them on the surface, they kind of contour to any shape that you've got, and they're a lot more forgiving if you've not done this before. You're gonna wanna use that pad on every outside surface of the stove. You wanna scrub in all the nooks and crannies, and make sure that you're getting any of that corrosion out. And one important thing to note is you don't wanna use those Scotch-Brite pads or the brass brushes on any of the glass, and you also wanna make sure that you're not damaging those gaskets on the inside of the doors. The person that owned this stove lived right near the ocean, and you can see that white corrosion, and that's pretty typical from salt air. You don't have to take the whole stove apart, but I recommend at least pulling off the doors and some of the shields so that you can get to all the surfaces you can reach. Next, you wanna remove the dust from the outside of the stove. Now outdoors, this is easy to do with a leaf blower, but if you're inside the house, just use the dust attachment to your vacuum. And the key to getting an awesome end result is we've gotta make sure that the outside of the stove is clean. Now you just blew that dust off, but that's not gonna be enough. We have gotta wipe it down with a cleaner, here I'm using denatured alcohol, but you could also use regular rubbing alcohol, and some people like to use acetone, but whatever you do, you don't wanna use something like WD-40, no degreases, cause those are all gonna leave something behind. You can see as I'm wiping down these surfaces, that stuff evaporates right off as soon as I'm done. And you're gonna be surprised how much dirt is on that rag, so go ahead and wipe down the stove another time. You wanna make sure everything is as clean as possible. And at this point, you could go ahead and reinstall the doors and the ashtray into the stove. And even though the stove is already looking great, we're gonna supercharge this thing and make it look brand new with a finish that's gonna last. And for that, I'm gonna use this secret weapon and it only cost about six bucks for this entire container. This stuff is called Stove Polish. Now this one is made by Imperial and I'm sure there's other brands, but this stuff is so cheap and it works so well that I'm not gonna be changing anytime soon. And don't use any kind of a napkin or paper towel for this next step because it's really gonna mess up the job. Grab yourself a microfiber or any type of a cloth and then you're gonna dampen it with some water and then you can rub in the paste. Now the directions say to apply a thin, even coat, but it's kinda like polishing a shoe. You just rub it all over the outside of the stove. And this paste is actually pretty cool. It doesn't matter if you get it on the glass of those metal parts because it's gonna wipe right off of those. I ended up doing the stove a couple of times so I guess I put on two coats and then you're just gonna allow it to dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now you can already see the stove is looking like it's brand new, but there is one more step you need to do, and that's just to wipe it off after it's dried for 15 minutes, wipe off any polish from the chrome or brass bits that you might have on your stove, and now it's time to clean the glass. And I can tell by the condition of this thing that he hasn't cleaned this glass in ages. Regular glass cleaners don't really work for this job. This stuff is made for wood stove glass or fireplace doors because it has a little bit of abrasive in it, but somehow it doesn't seem to scratch the glass. And you'll see that some parts are gonna come clean right away, but others are gonna have some buildup and you're gonna have to repeat this several times until you're satisfied with the result. Considering the stove is almost 20 years old, this thing is looking really good, but if you want that finish to last, We've just got to light a fire in our stove and that's going to allow that polish to kind of bake into the metal and that's going to give you a much more durable result. Now the only thing you want to be aware of is when you light your stove for the first time with that polish, it is going to give off some type of a fume and they say it's non-toxic, but if you're inside the house, you're definitely going to want to open up some windows 
And this little stove is looking awesome and I'm super excited to put this thing on my shed and I'm going to show you guys the full installation, everything from putting down a hearth to installing the pipe right through the roof. But if you've got a much larger wood stove and it's still made of cast iron, you could use the same technique that I showed you. And some people will just spray high heat paint on their wood stove and if you want to go that route it's fine, but I found in my experience that it gives you a kind of blotchy result and it generally isn't going to last. Another secret about wood stoves is you can get them for a bargain price, especially the ones that look bad because people just think they're not worth any money. But with a little bit of effort, you can make even the oldest, roughest stove look like it's new. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.